The most famous family in the world is celebrating a new arrival. The Obamas have chosen America's official first pet, in keeping with the president's election night promise to his daughters, 10-year-old Malia and 7-year-old Sasha. I love you both more than you can imagine. And you have earned the new puppy that's coming with us to the White House. There is lots to consider when you're picking out what will become the best-known dog in the USA. And our preference would be to get a shelter dog, but obviously a lot of shelter dogs are mutts like me. Uh, so the, uh, so uh, whether we're going to be able to balance those two things, I think, is, is a pressing issue on the Obama household. You might remember some of the previous top dogs at the White House. There was Bill Clinton's buddy, whose friskiness meant he had to be kept away from the first cat, Socks. Then came George Bush with Miss Beasley and Barney, who, let's not forget, lost it as a reporter during his owner's last few days in power. Now, Miss Beasley, I understand you've been a media hound. Uh, perhaps this is a case of sibling rivalry. Both of you are an important part of our family, and you have to remember the true meaning of the holiday season. So the Obamas have settled on a six-month-old Portuguese water dog, a gift from Senator Ted Kennedy, who has two of his own called Splash and Sonny. The first pet, who will apparently be called Bo, will make his debut in front of the world's cameras on Tuesday.